Hello, this, Internet. This is Peter of Smile Brigade. Um, we're here in Los Angeles, California. Um, he has slept pretty late uh, into uh, well into today. It's like about three o'clock in the afternoon, and he. Uh, it's gonna give you a little recap of last night's show and the time we had. Good old LA showing us the time of our lives, as they say. Beat. Last night was kind of weird, but I don't know if it was weird, weird, or uh, you kind of had to be there weird. Um, we first showed up at the place we were supposed to play, and it didn't look like a music venue. It looked like a clothing store. And on top of that, it was closed. It was completely locked up. So we're peering into the windows, and all we can see are like stacks of jeans and stacks of t-shirts. Four t -shirts. minutes or less, Pete. And uh, so, anyway, long story short, that ended up not being the venue. Uh, it had been moved to a different place, which was like this giant swanky club. And there were two parts to the club, like a main stage upstairs where there were tons of people, and then we were playing in kind of like this side room. Um, the owner was this guy named Chuck who talked about doing cocaine back in the 80s and what it was like to be in L.A. down there. Um, there were these girls pretending to be strippers that were changing into like fishnet stockings and lingerie and stuff like that that were in the backstage room because they were dancing on stripper poles for the other show, just like this 80s party. Um, we played and it was pretty good. And uh, halfway through our last song, like this security guy runs in and he says, like, you gotta stop, the cops are out there. No more sound, no more sound. And so we stopped and then we waited until he went away and then we played one more song. Um, so there were police officers. And then we went to get some food, and then we went to this after bar where, like, typical Southern California, you have all these people sitting around jamming and playing guitars and bongos and singing. And normally I hate drum circle stuff. But it was kind of different because everyone in this drum circle slash guitar circle were, like, actual professional musicians. So it was different. Like, it kind of sounded good. And now we're here. And you slept in until... Until, like, 2.30. Hey, what time did we roll in this morning? It was 5 o'clock when we got here. Yes. Did you have a good sleep? Pretty good, yeah. The dog kept waking me up. Dog kept waking you up? The, uh, you didn't sleep alone, did you? I slept with Leonardo. That's what I heard. <laughs> Even though there was an extra couch. There was an extra couch and you chose... He told us that you talked him into it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? I just mentioned, because he kind of wanted the bed, and we did uh, rock, paper, scissors for it, and I won. And then he was out on the couch, and then I get into bed, and this bed was huge. Like, there was plenty of room for two people, especially two skinny dudes like me. And I, so I said, hey, just, you know, if you want the bed, you know, I'm not going to use all of it. Um, and he's like, nah, that's all right. So he was going to sleep on the couch still, but then the dog kept bothering him. And he finally got so pissed off that he went back in the room and slept with me so he could close the door. That's all I wanted to hear. Yep. The other details of sleeping next to Leonardo will not be... Available for the internet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where are we heading to today? San Diego. Looking for. Founded by the Germans in 1905. Uh, yeah, it should be fun. It's a bar we've played before. We're going to be playing with a band called the Donkeys that are friends of ours. Then we go to Las Vegas after that. We're not playing with the Donkeys. We're not playing with the Donkeys? We're not playing with the Donkeys. Oh man. It's unfortunate. I'm really let down. I thought we were playing with the Donkeys. No. Huh. Now you know. Wow. Alright. Can you say adios? Adios.